surgical site infections are caused by bacteria that get in through incisions made during surgery. They threaten the lives of millions of patients each year and contribute to the spread of antibiotic resistance. In low- and middle-income countries, 11% of patients who undergo surgery are infected. We understand the importance of supporting and restoring biodiversity, and we are teaming up with the world's leading molecular biologists, technologists, conservation biologists, conservation organizations, ethicists, and thought leaders to call for intended consequences to help us safely use all of the available tools that can provide the advantage we need to turn the tide on species. Nell and his colleagues took to the Everglades at night, hunting for gators near and far from, you have to use a spotlight and you see the little demon eyes shining out of the marsh. They lassoed the gators, pulled them into the airboat, and took blood samples and body measurements. The scientists say this is the first documented instance of nectar that attracts a particular animal assistant being produced outside of a in fact, the observed nectar bleeding might actually be an early system that evolved to include the nectaries found in other plants today. The sad truth is that happy sounds are now comes research that at least partly explains why. It was published this week in the Journal of Neuroscience. A British research team played various sounds including laughter to people who are having their brain scanned by a functional MRI machine. All the sounds activated the premotor cortical region of the brain, that area prepares facial muscles to move.
written by ten eminent professors, it had been updated to reflect the shifts of sociological thought in the last five years, making it the most comprehensive, authoritative, and contemporary dictionary available. It was essential reading for all students and teachers of sociologies and other related courses, and also for the general reader. Neither golden eagles nor bald eagles are endangered the U.S. bald eagle population has more than quadrupled since 2009, from around 72,000 to 317,000 birds. But the U.S. golden eagle population is still relatively small, around 30,000 birds, and at risk of declining. We understand that not everyone can put their job and other responsibilities on hold to that's why our healthcare ethics and law master's courses are available to study by distance learning, so you can fit gaining an academic qualification around your work and family. Our information office on campus provided resource and support to help you make the right choices about childcare, whether you're a student, staff, or member of the local the office provides information about the five centers closest to our campuses, relevant government agency, and other daycare center in the surrounding areas. Perhaps the most measurable benefit of the program has been the opportunity to meet in small something that is difficult to arrange such a desperate organization. Many officers would have to work together for 30 years but would not know other strengths and weaknesses.
exhilarating, exhausting, and intense. There are just some of the words used to describe doing an MBA. Everyone's experience of doing an MBA is, of course, different through denying that it's hard and a demanding work whichever course you do. MBA is one of the fastest growing areas of studying in the UK so that must be a sustainable benefit against form in one pain. How quickly is the world's population growing? In the United States and other developed countries, the current growth rate is very in most developing countries, the human population is growing at a rate of 3 people per second. Because of this bustling growth rate, the human population is well on its way to reaching 9 billion within a lifetime. Teenage girls are continuing to outperform boys in English while the gender gap in achievements in math and science has almost disappeared. The figures show that last year 80% of 14-year-old girls reached at least the expected level 5 in English, compared with 65% of boys. But in math, the girls are just 1% ahead of boys, while in science the difference is 2%. Certainly, one of the most important values of literature is that it nourishes our emotional lives. An effective literary work may seem to speak directly to us especially if we are ripe for it. The inner life that good writers reveal in their characters often gives us glimpses of some portion of we can be moved to laugh, cry, tremble, dream, ponder, shriek, or rage with a character by simply turning the page instead of turning our lives upside down. Introvert tends to recharge by spending time they lose energy from being around people for a long period of time, particularly large crowds, extroverts, on the other hand, gain energy from other people. 
extroverts actually find their energy is sapped when they spend too much time alone. They recharge by being social. Although Botswana's economic outlook remains strong, the devastation that AIDS has caused threatens to destroy the countries in 2001, Botswana had the highest rate of HIV infection in the world. With the help of international donors, it launched an ambitious national campaign that provided free antiviral drugs to anyone who needed them, and by March 2004, Botswana's infection rate had dropped significantly. Along with all that they have in common, infants also show unique individual traits. Some are more active than others, some are more sociable and some are more interested in the world around them. Infants earlier on show consistent differences in friendliness and anxiety level which form part of their early character. The information session is a 45-minute presentation conducted by an admission representative. Immediately following the session is a 90-minute walking tour of the campus led by a student ambassador. Walking tours of the campus generally include classroom buildings, a residence hall room, a dining hall, the library, athletic facilities, performing art facilities, and the student. In medicine, the application of information technology means the digitalization of medical records and the establishment of an intelligent network for sharing those other benefits flow from these technological changes. In the past medicine has taken a paternalistic stance, with the all-knowing physician dispensing wisdom, but that is becoming increasingly untenable.
regular exercise releases brain chemicals key for memory, concentration, and mental sharpness at the same time as lifting your mood and lowering stress and anxiety all of which contribute to brain studies show that regular exercise helps you manage complex tasks, organize and razor sharpen your focus which is great for those long revision sessions or particularly complex exam questions.